Hi guys, 14 Prime here, back with another video review. And today we're looking at the Transformers 2007 movie, Classic Camaro Bumblebee. Now I thought I'd review this figure because A, I, I love this figure, and B, since the Studio Series figures are coming out, uh, I thought I'd review this guy just kind of for people if they didn't know. This thing exists. Yeah, anyone that didn't know. Everyone knows, what well, am I doing this for? <laughs> but, um... Little known fact, this has always been, for movie Bumblebee, my favorite alt mode that he's had. Like, I love, I also love the, um, concept Camaro in 2007. Revenge of the Fallen Camaro was weird it, to me for some reason. I think it was just the front. Dark of the Moon one, it was alright. I love the, uh, and then after that I pretty much liked them. The alt modes, they were, they were good. But, um, this one was always my favorite. I don't know if it was just the first one I saw and just immediately imprinted in my brain or... If it just appeals to me because I like old cars. Who knows? But anyways, here he is in his alt mode, which I love. I actually have my version of this, and then this one is not mine, because mine literally cannot transform anymore. Because this one stays in alt mode for me. And I can't wait to get the new one, but I'm not paying $30 on Hasbro Toy Shop for Deluxe. No way. So, uh, sorry that I will not be the first to review them. When am I ever the first? But, um, he does roll. Like all I think should. For an exit, for a comparison, since he's here, here's a little Legends Bumblebee. Something more recent, even though it's a completely different scale. <laughs> he also does have these weapons, which they're spring loaded, so they shoot. And they would normally go like right here ish, but it messes up with the gimmick, which I'll show off. Now, a major drawback of this figure. Which is really, to me, the only real drawback of the figure is the gimmick. Back in 2007, how they start off the movie line is the Automorph gimmick. Which is basically one area just kind of transforms on its own, sort of, from doing other things. And with this figure, it, it really hurt it. Because it's really hard to make it look like this. It usually looks like that. All the time. Like, to get it back right, it's really difficult. That's why I've been handling it very gingerly see just that's the only drawback of this figure to me but anyways transform it you press this button right here and that's the automorph gimmick and then you pop off the arms on the sides and move them up you lift those up this will lock into place these legs down here flip up they flip out and then those pull out which is another automorph thing I think then they split. You pull down the rest of the chest, pull this down to get all this accordion to how it should be. And here is Bumblebee in his robot mode. And I just, I just love this robot mode. Like, this was, this was the Bumblebee figure that I had back in 2007, and I haven't transformed this, this like this version, in months. So this is actually the first time I've done it in a while. And God, I forgot how much I love it. Makes me super hyped for the new one. By the way, if if anyone's wondering, Studio Series line, I have loved basically everything. Like Crowbar is the only one that I've seen so far kind of eh. Stinger, he, he's not eh, but I'm not looking at him like oh yeah, definitely. But I will be buying it anyways because it still looks pretty cool. But Studio Series, expect those here because I love them. Especially the Jazz. The Jazz will just be a gush video, anyone wonder. <laughs> but here he is. You can see a little close up on his face even though my camera sucks and doesn't want to show it. I love the blue eyes, they're really nice. A little silver Autobot logo there. Just, I love this figure. And uh, you can either A, he can hold the weapons, which there are two by the way, they do splits. So you can either hold them. Or what you're supposed to do is you're su there's the peg on the bottom of them actually fits into these tires, like so so that he kind of has like shoulder mounted weapons, which is an all right look. It's how I usually would display in bot mode, but on my version this one just ends up going to the side. So I honestly just keep these two guns in storage. Articulation on the head's on a ball joint. And they can also move at this joint. It's on a ball joint so you can get some. Posability out of it, it's kind of hard to get to. Arms can go out that far, 
You can, can go a full 360, but the door wings might get in the way. Elbow bend, bicep swivel, wrist articulation. Nothing at the waist. Legs move forward, legs move back. They bend a little bit at the knee, and then there's some good foot pivoting, but no tilts. This is before the ankle tilt. Before the ankle tilt was born. But overall, I love this figure. A little license plate right there. It's nice. Just. God, I miss 2007. <laughs> Like, oh, all the 07 figures. I don't think there's one 2007 figure that I look at. I'm like, it's gross. Go away. Could be just because it's how I started out with 2007 or what. This is now refusing me just because I mentioned it. And for a few modern day, for a modern day comparison, here he is with Titan's Return, Perceptor. And you can see Deluxe has gotten a bit shorter. I don't know. Bumblebee was kind of a shorter Deluxe, so. Yeah. Overall, I could still recommend getting this figure. If you can find it for, like, between 10 and 20, I'd do it. Just uh, just know if you want to display it in a vehicle mode, you're going to have a hassle. But it's worth it when you get to it, because, boy, oh, boy, it's a beautiful vehicle mode. And we'll be bringing this guy back, back for whenever I buy the new one, whenever those figures come out in stores. Because, again, $30 for a deluxe. I love it, but no. I was going to buy them all, but the promotional thing isn't for... And I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, please be sure to check out my channel for video reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. And this is the 14th Prime, signing out.